Hey, everybody. Well, it's great to have you back today for Devotions. Thanks so much for staying tuned over these last few days. We're saying get up. Get up in faith and get up in strength. And the reason it's important for us to get up is sometimes we just got to remind ourselves that the God of heaven and earth is the God who is with us in all things and through all things. Even as David says in Psalm 23, even though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil. And one great leader once said this, if you're walking through hell, then the key is this, keep on walking. So listen, friends, I want to encourage you this year through every day, every season of life, that every challenge that, that, that is thrown against you this year, don't sit down, get up, get up. Because when you get up, you are stating intent. The intent that says, I am not going to stay here. And over the last few days, we've been looking at Joshua. In Joshua chapter 1, where God comes to Joshua and says, Joshua, now get up. The Bible says in verses 1 and 2 of Joshua 1, after the death of Moses, the servant of the Lord, it came to pass that the Lord spoke to Joshua, the son of Nun, Moses' assistant, saying, Moses, my servant is dead. Now, therefore, get up. Now, therefore, get up up get up and do something i mean it's one thing knowing what the challenge is but it's another thing to face it you know there have been many times in in 27 years of pastoral ministry where uh, sophie and i have had have been aware of the challenge facing us there've been many times where the challenges were naturally impossible and yet we had to learn the difference between what's naturally impossible and yet supernaturally probable. And people of faith are people who learn how to embrace that which is supernaturally probable. It's such an important thing to think about the supernaturally probable. The supernaturally probable only ever really lines up with God's word and God's voice. If God says it in his word, if he says it to you in moments of prayer, even through the preaching of the word of God, where something of God speaking through the preached word of God ignites a spark in your life, then remember, even that which is naturally impossible now becomes supernaturally probable. Why? Because God says it. So get up this year. Get up in faith and get up in strength. Let's not sit Let's not allow ourselves to wallow in the woe is me circumstances. Let's get up. Let's be more like Tigger than Eeyore. Eeyore, who's, who's why oh, everything's so sad and everything's so, so difficult. And yet Tigger bouncing around with faith. I believe that's what God wants to be. People who are bouncing around with faith, just always looking on the positive side of things. Always recognizing that the supernaturally probable is available at every turn for those who are prepared to believe. William Booth said this. He said, faith and works should travel side by side, step answering to step, like the legs of a man and woman walking. First faith and then works. And then faith again and then works again until they can scarcely distinguish which is the one and which is the other. And I believe that God can bring that to come to pass in your life too. As you step, faith works, faith works, faith works. So that just like William Booth, the fan of the Salvation Army says, it can scarcely be distinguished which is faith and which is works. But the key is this, friends, we got to get up, get up this year. Get up and step into your new dream. Get up and step into your new habit. Get up and step into your new routine. Get up and step into the new way of life that you have predetermined that you want your 2023 to look like. Because friend, I promise you that step by step along the way, if you can start again now on the 4th of January, then I promise that by January the 31st, faith works, faith works. Faith works step by step that with that combination that by January the 31st, you can truly look back at this new year, 2023, and say, what a brilliant year I'm having. Why? 
because at the beginning of the year, you chose to rise in faith and rise in strength. It is time to get up. So get up today. The old has gone. The new is here. Praying you're having a brilliant start to the year, everybody. And I'm look for, looking forward to catching up with you tomorrow. May God bless you. And I'll see you soon. Bye.